Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome to episode 28 of Pokemon Ruby Second Chance. Last time I explored the abandoned ship and I surfed through Route 108 and I made it here to Route 109. And this time I'm going to be arriving back at Slateport, which is very, very nice. I'm going to put Toffoli in the front and yeah, we're going to do some more surfing. So, here we have a trainer. Are you properly protected against the sun? You know, actually, it's funny. I never wear sunscreen. I've maybe put, I've maybe used sunscreen once in the last 10 years. Like, I don't use it. Uh, I also don't wear shorts. Uh, like, like, okay, hold on. I, I may sound like the same thing. Like, I'm talking about, like, during the, like, I'm not talking about, talking about just, like, going to the beach or whatever. I, I'm talking about the summer in general. Like, I don't, like, I guess people wear sunscreen, like, not only, not only when they go to the beach, but, like, some, some people put sunscreen on normally, I think, but I, I don't, and I also just wear jeans all summer long. It's just something, it's something that I got, that I got used to. I have shorts, uh, but I don't wear them. I only wear them when I get my hair cut, actually, now that I think about it, because I want something, like, I want to wear something that I, that I'm okay with having hair all over. Uh, so I wear shorts, uh, but other than that, I don't wear shorts ever. It's always, in the summertime, it's always a t-shirt and long pants. It's like, uh, uh, jeans. That's all I wear, jeans. So yeah. Anyways. We defeated Alice in Wonderland. And... Let's battle, uh, these two trainers. I can't swim without my inner two, but I won't lose that Pokemon. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> okay, so. Trooper Carmen Car has a level 27 Meryl. We're gonna go with Shockwave. I love having his anchors on my team. It's freaking awesome. Oh, goody. Okay, uh. I don't really know why I have, e I have all three of these moves. Like, they all do pretty much. They all have around the same amount of power, I think. And a pointless critical hit. That always feels. That always feels great. Did I lose because I have an inner tube? No, you lost because you don't know how to battle Pokemon properly. That's why you lost. Okay. Hi, big trainer. Will you battle with me? Uh, great. Another one of those rhetorical questions she asks and doesn't you know I like you don't actually let me give you an answer Gwen Stefani all right no problem another level 27 Meryl they're literally the exact same trainer same Pokemon same level great oh but this one's using bubble beam great I'll use crush claw this time I always thought crush claw was a cool move and boom. Yes, I know. I know I'm strong. Thank you for reminding me. And she is not a trainer. Little kids can dirt around so quick. You don't dare take your eyes off of them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine's with my Pokemon. So they should be okay, but wait, they're your Pokemon? So shouldn't I have been ba shouldn't I have been battling you and you had two Merrells? Rather than battling your two daughters? Hello. Hiya! Look at my chiseled abs! This is what you call a cut. Okay. Sure. Oh, well this is gonna be simple. Shockwave. Boom. Shockwave annihilates Wingle. I find it funny how in the Diamond and Pearl remix, Valkner, he has a Pelipper when you rematch him. And I think that is because he has one in... Platinum? I, I I feel like he has one in a Pokemon game, but it's not Diamond and Pearl, so I think it must I think it must be Platinum. And he has it in his rematch team in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond and Amazing Pearl. I like to call it Amazing Pearl. Um, and it's kind of funny because normally when they have that, like normally when a, when a trainer who uses a specific type uses another type. You know, that's unusual. Like, for example, Flint in Diamond of Pearl and the remakes. The first thing you fight him, he has a Steelix that has Fire Fang and a Lopunny that has Fire Punch and Drift Limb that has Will-O-Wisp. And there's lots of different examples like that. 
but Valkner with the Pelipper, he, he has Drizzle, which makes it even worse for him because if if you have a Pokemon that has Thunder, then it, that's it. There's no way for him to get out of it. As long as you're I'm probably not much more than, say, I don't know, 20 levels lower, even then you might be able to knock him out in one hit. Like, it's actually hilarious. Um, you know, because Drizzle makes Thunder have 100% accuracy. So, yeah, it's really funny how terrible of a trainer Vulcan, Vulcan is. Oh, yeah, right, I don't have repels. Right, I was like, why don't I have repels? Oh, yeah, it's because I freaking didn't buy any when I thought I did. I think I already... I just want to make sure. Okay. Wait, what did you say? This dude thinks you are a big... Oh. Okay. I thought he said this dude thinks you have a big one. I was like, what? Okay, anyways, uh, moving on. I battled you. I want to make absolute sure... Ah, I missed an item here. Another wild battle. Missed an item here, so I'm going to grab this. It is a PP up. Normally, those kind of items like to sell because you get nearly five grand for them, but I won't be doing that with PP up. I actually like to use those. Oh, good. A level 35. I'm going to actually take this thing down because it's one level higher than Tafoli. And there we go. You know what? I don't need to have to pull in the front anymore. I'm going to put Gary in the front. Even though he's almost dead, I will be healing soon. Um, put Psychic in the second slot in case I happen to render double battle, which I don't think I'm going to. Um, so, I believe that's it. I believe that is it. Um, I don't think there's any more trainers over here. I don't believe there's any more trainers over on this side. I just like to make absolute sure I battled all these trainers before... Uh, so, we are now back in Slayport. I'm going to get on my bike for really a dumb reason, because I'm going right into the Pokemon Center. And then I want to go to the Mart. I want to sell some of my items, um, because I have a lot of items that I want to sell, and I want, I, I need to make room in my bag. I also want to buy, buy repels. Um, so, let's go ahead and do that. So, we're going to sell. Okay, so, we are going to sell... Iron, yes, this might seem very weird. A lot of people like to use, uh, a lot of people like to use irons and proteins and stuff. I, for one, don't use them. I sell them just to get money. I don't really like the stats. And stats are, of course, uh, they're, they're important, of course, but boosting them by, like, one point when I can get five grand, I'm just more greedy, honestly. I don't really need to sell that, but I'm going to. Uh, I sold a nugget, right? Um... I don't need this. 50. I don't even need that. I'll try to use the soda pops. They, it, they're basically like what the super potions are in Pokemon games today. Uh, so I'll try to use those next. Um, now for items, I'm gonna buy, try to buy repels like I tried to do before. I'll buy 20. And I think I'm good for super potions. And yeah, so got a little bit of time left before I... I think what I'm gonna do is before uh, before I actually start yeah uh, start uh, a new area, an area that we haven't gone to yet. I'm actually going to do the next trick house puzzle because I have a little bit of extra time and hopefully I don't need an HM that I don't have in my party. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Hold on, let me see. Is it something I need? I really hope not. It's Rock Smash. I think I have Rock Smash, don't I? Donnie has Rock Smash. Yeah. Okay. All right. We are good. We are good. So this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the video, and then we'll uh, we'll work on a new route in the next video. That's always exciting. Okay. So let's do this. I don't know what's going on here. I'm starting to feel sad. All right. <clears throat> sure. Martha. She has a skitty. Interesting. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with Ember. Really, I really can't wait. Uh, yeah, I remember that move. Assist. What does that even do? Is that, is it, is it like Metronome or is it, no, I don't know. Oh, no, I think they, they I think they, uh, the Pokemon uses a random move from your, from the rest of your party or something like that. I don't really know, but, um, yeah, Gary's five levels away from evolving, and honestly, that can't come soon enough. Hopefully by the time we reach the next gym, he'll be there, but I doubt that. Because that's why he has the name Gary, because of his evolution. So, yeah. And there we go! 
I'm awful? Oh, jumping. I was trying to make you feel better, I guess. I don't know, maybe beating you in a Pokemon battle is not the way to do it, but anyways, we got wood mail. I don't... You know what? What's the point of even picking... I know that everything you find here is mail. Wood mail or harbor mail or chicken nugget mail or whatever, you know? Like, I don't even know why I bother because it's, like, pointless. It, it, it takes up space, it's, uh, you know, I just, I don't like leaving, uh, I don't like leaving items, like, uncollected, if that makes sense. Unless I know what it is and I just don't want to bother. Um, but, it, there, there's really no point. Honestly, I shouldn't even be bothering with them. I'll probably just toss them later. Rock smash. There we go. And we have another trainer here. Hello. I don't get it. What would anyone want with a house this bizarre? I don't know. Why would what would anyone want with a bunch of pointless mail like harbor mail and shadow mail? I was gonna say dazzle dazzle mail, but I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. Okay, so he has a Geodude. I am going to switch out here, and I'm actually going to go to Cherifita. I should be going to Psychic, but Cherifita is one level away from evolution, and man, when that happens, it is going to be awesome. So. Bullet seed. That's all we need is a bullet seed. And there we go. Wow. And a nose pass. Okay, we'll stay in. I probably should I probably should be using Psyquake, honestly. But as you can tell, I it, I don't really care that much because I would have switched to I probably I'll probably go to Psyquake for the last Pokemon as long as it is as it is a rock type or a poison type. I don't know why a hiker would have a poison type. I guess they could have Geodudes, right? Or not Geodudes, um, Zubat. I guess they could have Zubats, I think. Alright. Um, this is my only ground type move. Wow, that's pathetic. <clears throat> Might have just been better just to stay in for. It's the same with Terrafita. I can use self-destruct, but that's not a good idea at all. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I'm not even really sure why Sackwick knows that move. It might be because that's maybe maybe he had that move when I caught it. I don't know. I don't even know. Okay. So your accuracy your accuracy has fallen a few times. Let's sport one of the most one of the just it's just pointless. It's a pointless. It's a pointless move. It, it just, it, it really is. Okay, there we go. Your Graveler goes down. And there we go. I don't get it. How did I lose? Because I'm just better than you at Pokemon. Isn't that obvious? Alright, moving on. Uh, we have two more Rock Smashes. We'll do that. And then we have another, another Rock Smash here. I super spent the Rock Smashes because why not? Sure. Let's see if I'm back to the same place. Great. Justin, he has a Kecleon. Well, that's good to know. So you know what I'm gonna do? Fire, or fire, ember, not fire. Um, and then I'll use rock throw and then that'll be super effective. And there you have it. He barely survived and now he's rock type. So I'll probably just use, I guess actually ember will knock him out. Even though it's not very effective. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm already having trouble, and then you have to beat me. It's not fair. Why does everybody in this room hate me? Like they all hate me so much. I was called awful by that girl earlier. This guy says that I have, that I shouldn't have beat him, even though I wouldn't be able to not beat him if I tried because of how terrible of a trainer he is. And am I stuck? Wait, what the heck am I supposed to do here? Am I missing something? I think I just completely... I think I'm stuck. Wow. Do I have to come get the scroll? Do I have to come and do the scroll again? I don't have to battle the trainers again, obviously, but I think I have to grab the scroll again. Wow, that was really weird. I completely locked myself out. They must, they must have designed it like that, I guess. Well, obviously. Obviously they designed it like that because 
Oh, I already have. Okay, I don't have to get the scroll again. Okay, so we just have to do this. Here we go. That is it. Okay, I, I don't think the item is very good. I've always said that the best, in my opinion, the best item he gives you is the first one, which is a rare candy. That's that, like, I always do that the first trick puzzle whenever I play through this game. Whether it's a let's play or, like, you know, a let's play or just a personal playthrough. Like, a hard so I don't, I don't find that useful. Like, this is, what, the third or fourth trick puzzle? I think it's the third, maybe. Maybe even second. No, I think it's the third. I don't know. Anyways... The first one that the first thing that he gives you, like the thing he gives you after you complete the first trick house puzzle, is a freaking rare candy. Like that's awesome. That's the, in my opinion, it's the best one. I think the last one you get is like a t blue tent or something like that. I don't even know. But yeah, I always do the first puzzle because it's just because the item is fantastic. Um, okay, so we're tossing all of these pointless mail that I don't want at all. Uh, Actually, this Hearthstone, I guess we can keep for now. I might be able to sell it. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to head up to Mauville. That is where I'm going to end the episode off because that's where I want to start the next episode. So that is my plan. Puzzle Effect Royal. That was actually perfect timing. Okay, guys. So that is where I'm going to end things off here. Um, this guy, I think this is where I can go to New Marvel and get the TM for Thunderbolt, but I'm actually not going to do that because I have Shockwave into Foley, and I think Shockwave, I mean, it's perfect accuracy. He doesn't need two electric type moves, so I'm not even going to bother with that. That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you back here next Monday for a brand new episode. Thanks, guys, for watching, and peace out.